friends, today we are going to connect two routers, one switch and two PCs. Take 2901 router and take another 2901 other router and one switch. And take two generic PCs, PC01 and PC0. Now make it uh, as ISP internet service provider and power down and uh, ban interface cards to and uh, cover those remaining two slots and do the same thing to another router oops you have to power down fast take another ban interface card and cover these two And now we have to make a notes for the IP addresses so that we can easily configure through command prompt 192.160.20.100 for the router and 192.168.250.1 168.250 dot two slash twenty four this subnet mask and uh, for <coughs> ISP two hundred dot one dot one dot twenty four and D C connection IP address is two hundred dot one dot two twenty four and just a little bit of just this and just adjust uh, about this and uh, now we have to connect and uh, before that uh, just configure the IP address for PC01 IP address as 192.168.250.1 and submit mask just 255, 255, that's 24 bit submit mask and the default gateway is uh, the router 1 that is 192.168.258.100 just copy this and we can use it later and go to PC1 and the uh, desktop and the IP configuration and the IP address. This is the default data is 100 and the IP address is that 250.2 and the subnet mask default as it is. And then we have to connect with the uh, straight through copper cable and uh, fast Ethernet 0 1. Take another fast Ethernet 0 2, fast Ethernet 0 2. And the switch to router gigabit and zero one two zero zero gigabit and a router to router we have DC connection serial zero zero two serial zero zero one. Now we have to configure the router. Yes, everything is down now. Just double click. Go to power on, just see the command line interface, just wait a few seconds. Just a little bit for your understanding of what I am typing in command prompt. Just, yeah, just we need a config diagram layers and uh, enable the name as router1. Security is Cisco CACO CSCO Enable password is Cisco 1 and the virtual thermal password is Cisco now and then we need to configure the gigabit 00, zero. gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 just hit enter as yes, I need to configure the IP address and the IP address is 192.168.250.100 and the subject by default is fine. just to have to save the configuration and we need to configure the DC E connection to IS router 1 to ISP router for that just enable and password as go and then we are in the configuration mode just config T the configuration mode and we have to configure the interface uh, serial 000 
zero zero and uh, now we have to add the IP address to that router one as a serial connection to the DC connection there is zero two hundred dot one dot two and the submit mask is two five two fifty five two five zero and uh, now we have to include the clock rate for the DC connection as uh, sixty four thousand and uh, we did everything and uh, we need to set up the connection just hit no shutdown and hit enter and just exit the command prompt from yeah one more exit just we are out now we have to configure the same things to ISP router 2 just close this and just open the dialog for the CLI for ISP so we need to power on <coughs> just take a little while one more second yes it's good up yes we need configuration dialog and uh, name as isp password as cisco and one more cisco one yes cisco and then we need yes and pin now just hit now and we can hit directly and we need to configure the serial zero one connection yes yes serial zero zero one and we need ip address yes 200.1.1 and something back as it and save it. You will see the green connection, the green dots for both the routers. Just just now, we, uh, we need to check whether it is working or not. Just use the uh, ICMP package as yes, PC202 router one connections successful and PC1 to router 1 yes it's successful and uh, PC0 to PC1 it's successful and uh, SP2 router 1 is successful and router 2 ISP successful 